Hello, in this video we're going to work on a factoring technique called factoring by grouping. Uh, this is a technique that's most useful for situations where you have four terms. Uh, if you have four terms, that also means that you're not dealing with just quadratic equations or quadratic expressions. You're dealing with higher degree uh, polynomials. Um, so let's just uh, dive into an example here. I'm going to write down factoring by grouping. And uh, we're going to start out with a fairly simple example. x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 8. This is a cube. Uh, you can see that because the highest power is 3. And uh, so what you're going to do here is uh, uh, you're going to just underline I'm going to underline the first two terms and the last two terms. And we're going to start out by thinking about those separately. The question that you want to ask here with these first two terms is what goes into each of them evenly? What do they have in common? And what you'll notice is this has an x squared and that's an x cubed. So you could say that x squared goes into them, each of them e evenly. x cubed is just like x squared times x. So I'm going to just write down x squared times parenthesis, and uh, we'll fill that in, in in a moment. Over in the second two terms, 4x and negative 8, what goes in each of those evenly? And um, it's 4. 4 goes into 4x, and it also divides into negative 8. So we're going to just write plus 4, we'll write parentheses there. And uh, so now what you're going to do is go back and say, I took x squared out of x cubed, what's left? And it's just x. And then if I took x squared out of negative 2x squared, left over is just a negative 2. Um, and then over on this guy, if I took 4 out of 4x, left over is an x. And if I took 4 out of negative 8, if I divided 4 out of negative 8, I would have a leftover as negative 2. So um, that's my intermediate step. Um, I... Uh, I now see I've got x squared times x minus 2. I also have 4 times x minus 2. It's really important that both of these match. So if you're multiplying x squared times x minus 2 and 4 times x minus 2, uh, what you can ultimately do is just say, let's take the x squared plus 4 and multiply it times x minus 2 all at once. And that is your correct factorization. And uh, we can check it this one time. Check with FOIL. And uh, what you end up doing is you do the first terms. x squared times x makes x cubed. The outer terms are minus 2 times x squared. Uh, the inner terms are 4 times x. And last is 4 times negative 2. That's negative 8. And you can see that uh, what we got at the end matches what we started with. So you can see that this is the correct factorization of that cubic polynomial with four terms. Um, so uh, we're going to do another example. Um, I want to just show you something that is it's unrelated, but it, I think it might help uh, to show you why this works. So I'm going to just kind of draw that, draw a line there, get that off. Um, if you had uh, 5 times 2 plus 3 and then uh, plus 1 times 2 plus 3, this is kind of silly maybe, but just uh, bear with me here. Um, so let's just, let's just work this out real quick. Um, that's 5 times 5 plus 1 times 5, and that equals 25 plus 5, which is 30. Okay, so that's fairly simple. Uh, what I have here is I have 5 times something and 1 times the same something. And so if you're going to multiply 5 times 5 and then add 1 times 5, what you could uh, do instead is just say we're going to do 5 plus 1 
times five. So I take my two terms here, five and one that were both multiplying times five, and I just stick them together and then multiply it times five. That gives me six times five, which is still 30. So in the same way that we had uh, the same two items in the parentheses and we just added the five and the one together, up here, we had the same two things in the parentheses and we just added the x squared and the four together and put those together all at once and just multiplied that times the x minus two at one time. Um, so let's do another example. Uh, this is gonna take a few, this is tricky, so this will take a few examples to, to kind of work through. Uh, next we're gonna do uh, 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus x minus 2. I'll bring this down. There we go. Uh, that's my starting uh, point. Just like before, I'm going to consider the first two terms and the last two terms. And with the first two terms, I'm going to think about what goes into 3 and 6. And uh, that's going to be uh, just a 3. And then for x cubed and x squared, what goes into each of those? It's just going to be an x squared. So we're going to have 3x squared times something. And then for x minus 2, this is a little bit, uh, it's not hard, but it's a little bit tricky. What goes into x minus 2? Well, nothing except for the number 1. So we're going to do plus 1 times something. And uh, so we're going to go back and fill in our parentheses now. 3x squared goes into 3x cubed how many times? Well, just x times. Because if you divide 3x cubed by 3x squared, you just have an x left over. Uh, for a negative 6x squared divided by negative but by 3x squared, you just get negative 2. And then here we took a 1 out of x minus 2, so left over is just x minus 2. And so again, these match. And since 3x squared is times x minus 2 and 1 is times x minus 2, we can just put those together, 3x squared plus 1 times x minus 2. That is my correct factorization for it, for that, um, that cubic polynomial. Let's try another one. Okay. Two. Push this up. Okay, just like before, we're going to take the first two terms and we're going to kind of group those together. And then the second two terms and group those together. And so I need to think about uh, if there's a number that goes into 2 and 5 evenly, and there's not. Um, for the x cubed and the x squared, you're going to notice that x squared again goes into each of these. So we're going to start out by taking out x squared and leaving a parenthesis there. And then for 18 and 45, uh, 9 goes into 18 and 45 evenly. And uh, there's no, this doesn't have an x term, so we're just going to have uh, plus 9. We'll write that just uh, like, like you see. Um, so now we'll fill in the blanks. x squared goes into 2x cubed how many times? Just uh, 2x. If you divide 2x cubed by x squared, you get 2x. And then if you take x squared out of minus 5x squared, you get minus 5 left over. Uh, over here, we've got 9 times a parenthesis. If you take 18x and divide it by 9, you get 2x. And then if you take negative 45 and divide by 9, you get negative 5. So uh, these match once again. And we have x squared plus 9. Put those together and multiply it times the 2x minus 5 once, and that is the full factorization uh, in that case. There are some situations where we have this quadratic factor that it could continue to factor. In the cases I've shown you, it doesn't. x squared plus 9 cannot be factored, and uh, 3x squared plus 1 could not be factored. We're keeping it simple for now and not having additional factorizations after the initial uh, factoring by grouping. But that's something you'll see in the future. Um, factoring by grouping is something that, that comes up uh, fairly often. 
it's for a very limited situation, typically when you have four terms. And um, for this to work, the inside parentheses here and here always have to match.